Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here with me today. My name is Denise. I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm going to show you a Raquel Welch wig called Unfiltered in the color Fiery Copper. And this video is being done in partnership with Shaquel Wigs. They sent me this piece so I could show all of you. I am gonna throw on a bonus potential sister style comparison at the end. I'm gonna show you this wig. I'm gonna tell you all about it. And we're gonna look at this color inside and outside. If you wanna know more about Unfiltered, then stick around. I timestamp everything in the description. So if you're only here to see a specific part of this review, you can go down to the timestamps and skip ahead to only the sections that you care about. I am so grateful to Shaquel for partnering with me on this video because I really, really, really love this color by Raquel Welch. And I was looking for a possible sister style comparison I could do with my beloved Straight Up With A Twist, which is a straight bob by Raquel Welch, and I have it in this color. And they agreed to send this to me so I could do that comparison. It isn't a perfect sister style, but I do think it's passable. Now, if you've never heard of Shaquel wigs, I strongly encourage you to check them out. They are an online retailer that are located in both Canada and the United States. They do have two physical locations and an online presence in Australia as well. And I'm just excited to be able to bring a retailer to my wig sisters who live all over the place and one that will work without all of the extra fees that you may have to pay when you order from outside the country of origin of the retailer. All right, everybody, let's take a look at Unfiltered from all sides. Isn't this darling? This is just a fun, sexy, if I may say, flirty hairstyle with these really messy, tousled waves, deconstructive wave pattern, a little bit of challenge with the front, which I'll talk to you guys about in a moment, but it is just a super, super fun, casual style. I am having a lot of fun getting to know this piece. This is the type of curl pattern that I've never been able to master personally when I had bio hair or even with human hair wigs. This is just a fun, really messy, deconstructed wave pattern that is um, kind of a little chaotic. And even though this is a synthetic piece, it's a heat friendly synthetic. So you could relax this wave pattern with heat. You could add a little more to it even. So, you know, there are some pieces that aren't unnecessarily as wavy as others. You could remedy that if you're good with heat tools. So I really think this wig has tons and tons of flexibility. This one has a lace front and a full mono filament top. We'll look inside the cap in a moment. That allows you to part this wherever you would like. Let's take a look at that lace front. Raquel Welch is known for being the best in the business when it comes to lace fronts. Let's take a look at that one more time. You can just see how it melts into my scalp and it gives the appearance that the fibers, the hair is growing right out of my scalp. That is one of the benefits to these higher end major name brand synthetics that, you know, the price point is significantly different than a budget friendly synthetic. But with that, you get this beautiful lace feature, gives it a lot of realism, allows you to do off the face styling. They're often very, very shake and go. And another feature on this piece in particular is the full mono top. Let's take a look at it. All of that is parting space. It's called a mono top. There's that lace front. Every fiber is uh, hand tied into these features in individual strands. And what that means is you're gonna get natural movement from the fibers that are tied into those sections. They can move all around on their knot versus all of the wefted pieces. Those fibers are sewn in on a track and you don't get as much natural movement. I don't think it matters as much in the back, but up in the front where you're styling, where the hair may be blowing around and where people are actually looking more closely, these can really make a huge difference, not only in realism, but in your confidence in wearing a wig. We've got ear tabs with velvet and bendable stays, extended nape, velcro adjusters so that you can adjust the size of the cap to fit you better depending on now your head measurement. Welt wigs fit very true to average. I find that they have really good stretch. So 
if you if it's important to you that the wig not be super uh, stiff on your head Raquel Welch wigs are really stretchy uh, I have a 22 inch circumference they fit me really securely I can cinch them in just a little bit for a secure fit and I have no issues I do get just a little bit of extra cap up here you can see when I fold it over and that's because I have a very petite over the top of my head measurement but it doesn't inhibit me from wearing Raquel Welch wigs wig is what I would consider moderate density it's not a super heavy density but it's not light density. I would say it's on the high end of moderate. Part of that is just this, this wave pattern. It does give it some volume and it does make the hair stand out just a little bit. There, it really isn't permatease. There's a little bit of crimpy fibers right at the crown. Nothing on the top because of that monofilament. And so there's no poofy pillow, uh, uh, sorry, let's start over poofy pillowy permities on this one a little bit of crimpy fibers at the crown but that's fairly flat on the top and then you can see it's really pretty straight and then you've got this wave so if you're looking for a piece that's super super low density and super flat I wouldn't recommend this one if you're brand new to wig wearing and you're always overwhelmed by wigs start with something a little less a little bit less density and maybe even something straight because as you get into curls and waves it does add volume and sometimes you need time to work your way up to styles like that I'll show you my straight up with a twist in just a little bit and that one could be a good one to start with if you want to try Raquel Welch it's one of my favorites before we talk about color let me just summarize my thoughts about this piece I think it's super fun I do think there are a bit of some challenges with the wave pattern. If you're looking for something more uniform, this one's very, very chaotic. It's the best word I can use to describe this wave pattern. I mean, we've got curls that want to curl in. We've got curls that want to curl out. So it's definitely a more fun, casual, maybe a you know date night if you're looking for a kind of bedhead type hair. This could be great for that. I do think that in some for some people, the chaos of these curls might be a little bit overwhelming if you're not used to it. But the beauty of a heat friendly piece, you can add curl to it. You know, I look at this sometimes and I think, oh, I just wish this would curl a little bit differently. I could see myself working to add just a little bit of curl right here, for example. Um, you know, it does have some frizzy fibers as part of this style right around the face. Some, sometimes there's some flyaways. All of that can be dealt with. I really like this piece and I know a lot of people love it but I also know that wigs can look great in these reviews and you can't get a full sense of what they're like so I try to give you guys excellent descriptions that I think will matter especially to the new wig wearer saying those things doesn't mean I think this wig is bad at all I don't I will wear this and I will have fun with it but I don't want you to fall into that trap as a new wig wearer and not be aware of some of the uniqueness of synthetic wigs especially in a messy curl pattern like this and always remember you can straighten it you can tame it you really can do a lot with these heat friendly wigs i also think that because it's slightly longer it may rub up on the clothing of some people depending on your measurements it really doesn't touch the my clothing with what i'm wearing but if i were to wear something with a high neck then it, the ends would rub on my clothing Friction is the enemy of heat-friendly fibers. I do have some videos showing you how to care for heat-friendly fibers using heat. I have a flyaway right here that I just want to pull out. <laughs> and um, it's a lot easier to do when you're new with straight wigs versus wavy because it does take a really special technique to not alter the curl pattern. But if, and if so, if you have a short neck, this could rub up on your clothing differently than it will on mine. Again, I'm not trying to tell you not to get this wig. What I am trying to tell you to do though is to educate yourself so that if you do get a heat friendly piece like this, you're aware that it will take some special care. I know a lot of wig sisters who only wear heat friendly and they've mastered the care of fibers like this, but I also know some that are overwhelmed by heat friendly fibers. So do your research and make your best decision. All right, now it's time to talk about color. Fiery Copper. The code for this is RL31 slash 29. This is a red, a coppery red with like gold blonde highlights. It is not rooted. So the, co the copper color is consistent all the way up. I actually think I would absolutely love this if this were a rooted color because then when my bio hair sticks out, it would blend a little bit better 
but I have videos showing you how to add rooting. So if you love this color, really easy to add a little bit of a shadow to the top, that would help a lot. But look at this beautiful color. Look at these bright, kind of golden, blondish, rusty colors. It's just so pretty. But it is absolutely an in-your-face coppery red, very dynamic. This does not look like a natural color, but it's also not a fashion color like pinks and things like that. I love this color so much. But if you're not used to reds, I don't know if I'd start with this one. So beautiful. Let's get outside because this color will pull differently outside. So I want you to see this color outside. And then if you want me to, to see my quick comparison with Straight Up With A Twist, then stick around for that. But first, let's get outside. All right, fiery copper outside. We'll get in the sun in a moment. Let's start in the shade. I just really love this color. You know what's fun about synthetic wigs is you can wear reds and they're not gonna fade quickly. Human hair, red is so challenging, but with synthetics, you don't have those challenges. So it's a great way to wear those beautiful, vibrant reds. So much less expensive than getting human hair dyed, these colors. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. It's always hard. The sun washes things out so much. Let's go back into the shade a little bit here. This is where you can see the multiple tones. So stunning. Thanks for watching. All right, here is Straight Up With A Twist. This is one of my all-time favorite straight chin length bobs. It is adorable. I have, I think I have multiple, multiple reviews of this style on YouTube. So you can always go check out more reviews if you like what you see. So straight up with the twist is a chin length bob that has layers. You can see these layers. I don't even know what the back looks like. I haven't looked. Hopefully it looks good. This wig is over two years old, two years old. I wear it all the time in the summer. It's not really a winter color for me because it's quite light, but I wear this all the time in the summer and you can see it's really holding up well, but it isn't brand new. So I do want to, you to keep that in mind. Now, Straight Up With The Twist has the same cap features as Unfiltered. It has a full mono top and a lace front. Again, beautiful Raquel Welch lace front. And the reason I wanted to do a sister style comparison was because I know a lot of my wig sisters and you may be one of them who don't want anybody to know that you're wearing wigs. You really try to stick to the same styles and the same colors as much as possible so nobody will know. But you want to be able to do some different things. Maybe you don't wear human hair, so you're not going to really style up your wigs often because even though you can style heat friendly, it's not like human hair. Once you change the style, it's changed. It's baked in, it's set until you take heat to it again. So I thought if I could find a more wavy piece and a straighter piece, that could be a great sister style option so for you. Where the biggest difference lies, I would say, is in the front. Unfiltered comes in at 10 inches according to the manufacturer measurements. Sometimes those measurements are taken pre-curling. It's really hard to know. I think they look not as different as the measurements would have you believe. 10 inches versus 8 inches. I don't know that it's quite 2 inch difference, but this one does look longer when you look at it side by side. The crown, so from the very top down, is more similar. This one's nine inches, this one's eight inches. When you get to the sides, again, more similar. This one's six inches on the side, this one's five inches on the side. The back, so when you're thinking of the back, you've got seven and a half and seven, and then you've got a nape of three and a half on this one and three on this one. And why the nape matters is because that's what gives you the overall length in the back. So this one's gonna be, what did I say, one inch longer at the bottom in the back than this one. Typically when you curl your hair, it looks shorter. So you would want the curly piece to be shorter than the straight piece, typically. But here's my experience. Take, take it for what you will. 
people do not notice. They are not observant. They're not paying that much attention to you typically. I really don't think that somebody is going to, it would be the rare person, let's just put it that way, that would look at you if you had your hair like this and one day you showed up with your hair like this, that would say, how did you make your hair longer <laughs> when you curled it? I just don't think that's gonna happen. I think between the volume difference, people are just going to think that you use a lot of product. They're gonna see bigger hair, not necessarily longer hair. I'm, I really, really want to encourage you to remember that people don't know the same things you know. They don't know you're wearing a wig. You know you're wearing a wig. You're ultra sensitive to things on your wig that are normal on bio hair. Sometimes people will talk about flyaways on a wig and think that gives the wig away. But how many people in this world have flyaways in their hair? Become observers of the people around you and you'll find that the things you worry about in your wig are often not different than what you see out in the wild with other people's hair. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick option if you're looking for sister styles. I did, once I realized that unfiltered was gonna be a little bit longer than straight up with the twist, I did, I'll throw unfiltered on for you so that you can quick in this section see them together. Um, I did go do a quick look on the Raquel Welch site, well the Shaquel site actually, to see if I could find another wavy piece by Raquel Welch that might be a little shorter and might work with straight up with a twist. And I didn't really find one, but they have other bobs. So it might be that you could find a longer bob and that could be a great sister style. So take this as a potential sister style, but also encouragement that you can get two different wigs from the same manufacturer in the same color. And if they're close enough, no one's gonna know that you have different hair. They're just gonna think you styled your hair or straightened your hair, whatever the case may be. Hopefully that helped. If anything, it, it started to get the wheels turning in your head about options, and maybe it's not something you ever thought you could do, but you absolutely can do it. Thanks once again to Shaquelle and to Amanda from Shaquelle for sending me unfiltered so I could share it with all of you and give you guys another wonderful retailer to consider for your next purchase. Remember, they have a Canadian online site, they have one in the United States, and they've got a couple in uh, a couple of physical locations in Australia. That one's a little bit of a different ownership, but they're all under the same name. And Amanda is on Instagram under Shaquelle. She does great content and really helpful education. So go follow her if you're on Instagram. Thanks for watching everybody. I'll talk to you in my next video. Thank you.